Okay, in this presentation, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to compute the distance matrix for a graph. So this is a nice, short, easy exercise, just to sort of get it out of the way. So the distance matrix is as follows. So um, let's just say for argument's sake, we are looking at the distance from A to B. That's simply 1, okay? The distance from A to E is simply 1. But let's say the distance from A to C is one edge then another edge. So the distance from A to C is 2. Uh, let's just be clear about something. If you could have gone a different way, you could have gone down the other direction. So you could have gone, let's say, A to E. Let's color that one in here. A, E, D, C. That would have been um, a path of length 3 with that being the distance of 3. So if there's multiple routes, what you do there is you take the shortest of the routes, okay? So just in case there is multiple choices, just take the shortest choice. So let's just sort of uh, get rid of some of the highlighting there. Got a bit rid of some of the graph there. Um, let's just draw that back in. So. I'll leave the rest of it, it's not that big a deal. So what we're going to do now is draw the uh, uh, matrix, the distance matrix, okay? And the distance matrix is a 5 by 5 matrix. Also, it's a symmetric matrix, that is to say it's its own transpose. So A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, okay? Now along the diagonal, it, we have the distance from A to A, that's going to be 0. Distance from B to B, A, that's going to be 0. C to C, that's going to be 0. D to D is 0, and E to E is 0. In fact, the diagonal should always be 0, uh, no matter what. Okay. Now, here, the distance from A to B is 1, as we said earlier. Now just remember, I sort of said that this uh, is a symmetric matrix. So the distance from B to A is 1 as well, okay? Distance from A to C, we said previously it was 2, so 2 there and 2 there. Uh, distance from B to C, you can sort of see it clearly there, it's just 1, one edge. There we go. Uh, A to D is 2, 2 there, 2 there. Uh, distance from B to D, well, it's just, there's an edge connecting the two, so there's one there and one there. Uh, C to D, they're directly connected by one edge, there we go. One and one. Uh, A to E is one. E to B is two. There's uh, two different ways you could take it. A, e to A to B, or E to D to B. So we'll just go with uh, two there. Uh, C to E, 2, there, and there, 2 and 2, and finally D to E, they're connected straight to each other. Okay, so um, that is the distance matrix for that one. Now what I'm going to do is, just as a quick remark, that's a connected uh, graph. What happens if it's not a connected graph? Okay, well let's just do the same thing again. Uh, we have uh, five vertices, uh, essentially in A, we have A and B, they are connected, and B, D, and C, they are connected, but the A and B are not connected to any of the others, D, E, and F. So what do we, how do we deal with that? So A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, so again, before you start worrying about that problem, let's just put the zeros in the diagonal. Okay. A to B, 1 to 1. Let's just look at C, D, E. They're all connected to each other as well. So it's 1, 1, 1, there. Okay. Now, what we got here is the distance from C to A and B, the distance from D to A and B, and so on. And conversely, or equivalently, the, from the point of view in A and B, what's the distance to C, D, and E? The thing to do here, a convention to follow, is that the you would have infinity, 
has the distance because the distance is not zero and so uh, that would be misleading to, to leave a blank okay I uh, leave, uh, leave it at zero. I'd uh, actually completely wrong. Uh, you could sort of say that you can't put that in there, so just leave it blank at zero. But what you do there is you actually uh, you would say that they are uh, infinity if the graph is disconnected. Alright, that's uh, pretty much everything I want to say, so we leave that there.